Welcome back to my channel, my name is Marcos Grigor, today with this beautiful design. I used premixed uh, Pavoni cocoa butter for the design, white, black, pink and red. Always tempered. Fill the cavities half with tempered chocolate and let the chocolate crystallize. For this design I don't use the stripes, I use the cavities in the back without the stripes. Let the chocolate crystallize and prepare the pink cocoa butter. As I said, it's tempered. Use a scraper to cover the cavities half and spray the pink cocoa butter evenly inside the cavities. Now it's time for the red tempered cocoa butter. I cleaned the gun a little bit. Uh, it doesn't matter if there's still a little bit of pink cocoa butter left. Just start spraying when it starts to get red. You can spray in the cavities. Remember to cover the cavities half with the scraper and start spraying. Nice and even. Now you're ready to clean the molds. On a dry paper cloth, while it's still wet, dry off the cocoa butter. Now let the chocolate crystallize for at least 20 minutes in the fridge and then you can remove them from the molds. You should have two very nice circles, one in red and one in pink. Now you're ready for the black cocoa butter. So I always try to, to make different designs. Sometimes you can't see different, sometimes you do. You see some of them are spray right up to the edge and some only to the until the first color starts. Then you let the color crystallize and then you're ready for the white cocoa butter. If you have white chocolate uh, for the shells, you don't need the white cocoa butter. The white cocoa butter only gives me beautiful more beautiful colors at the end. That is the only reason why I use it. Of course it's tempered. Fill all the cavities. Let the cocoa butter crystallize at 16 degrees overnight. Remember to cover the molds to avoid moist. Yeah, and some people often ask me, why do you do that overnight at 16 degree? Yeah, it gives me the best result. And then, next day, at room temperature, you fill out the molds, the cavities with tempered chocolate right up to the edge. Hit the outside with the scraper to remove air bubbles. Turn the mold upside down. Let the chocolate run out, scrape, and then you should have shells. Again, let them cool. I do that again overnight at 16 degrees and then they're ready to be filled. But here is only about the design. Remember to subscribe. There's a lot of work to do these uh, videos. More than 70% of the people watching these videos are not subscribing. So please hit the subscribe button and the like button. You see these ones, this design, is without the white color I sprayed with black until the edge and this is with a white cocoa butter see the difference beautiful nice and shiny remember to watch all the way to the end of the video to see what I'm doing next time and I hope you will be back for more remember that design from last time nearly the same technique they're all very beautiful I hope you like the video Next time, this design, beautiful, fantastic, beautiful. I will teach you how to do it step by step. I hope you will be back for more. See you soon. Bye bye.